When we got inside the prison, they locked us up in solitary confinement in what they call one house. The old Idaho pen was old even in the 1950s. Men in one house didn't even have running water. Mel Durr said inmates were given two buckets, one for fresh water, the other to use as a toilet. Uh, we constructed our own toilet seats for our little pails, and we it took them out and emptied them twice a day and filled them up with disinfectant again. And, and they loved us so much that they put the entire TB ward on the first deck right below us because it didn't make any difference if the homosexuals and the sexual perverts got TB, but they didn't want any of the other people get it. We couldn't go out of our cell except once in the morning for breakfast, once in the afternoon for dinner, and that was it. But they wouldn't let anyone near us. They had a guard by us all the time so that we couldn't get near anyone or no one could get near us. 